What up, what up, everybody? This is the Both Different Podcast. Um, as always, Ricky Alphonse, CEO and founder of Extropian, Sean Greener, to, uh, Justin Kim, and uh, Raul Gamboa. Um, you know, want to thank everybody. This is a uh, Thanksgiving edition of the podcast. You know, we're going to keep it light, keep it a little airy. Um, you know, hopefully uh, you guys get to have a little fun with us today because we're, you know, going to have fun with this podcast. So, you know, we're going to, uh, you know, get away a little bit from company speak and product speak and, you know, uh, sports and technology and just, you know, talk a little bit about Thanksgiving, you know, kind of our plans, what we're thankful for and, um, you know, kind of some of the things that we do typically, you know, um, something that I think all of us commonly share for the most part, everybody kind of does their thing on Thanksgiving. It's kind of cool to uh, hear what everybody does, because honestly, I don't know what everybody on here does for their Thanksgiving, even though we're very close and we share everything. Um, it'd be kind of cool to hear everybody's, uh, you know, likes and dislikes about Thanksgiving and, you know, just hear what people are thankful for on this call, because uh, I have a lot to be thankful for. Um, but I'd love to hear what you guys have as well. So with that being said, um, you know, we're going to keep this a little light and airy, like I said before. Put the phone on mute because people are constantly texting and emailing me. And uh, we'll get started. So, um, you know, obviously Thanksgiving, you know, it implies, uh, you know, everything is in the name. Things that people are thankful for. Um, I think we kind of get away from that a lot throughout the year and I think even on Thanksgiving we don't uh you know when we thank each other for and uh thank each other enough or or um reflect on the things we're thankful for so you know maybe we can kind of all share that on this on this podcast so um you know I'll leave the floor open or um I can just call on anybody actually let me just call on Justin Justin uh you know if you're reflecting on uh <laughs> reflecting on your life and I don't want to hear the cowboys cuz I know that's what the first thing you're going to say the ca- the, the Cowboys in their uh their victory yesterday. Uh but you know, what do you Yeah, okay. Um what are you uh what are you thankful for besides the Cowboys win yesterday? Uh well I would say I'm thankful for I mean first of all I'm thankful for finding you guys, finding this company because you know, I think early at the start of this year, I, I was finishing up my last semester of grad school and, you know, it was kind of wide open for me. I was thinking about what I could do. You know, I know Disney was right down the road. That's what my parents were trying to guide me towards and stuff. But then I remember my advisor told me about your guys' company my, back my first semester of uh, grad school. And I, I remember I like bookmarked that email and I was like, I'm going to remember that. That sounds cool. And then sure enough, I, I found that email and I was like, oh, I forgot about this. I have to, I have to email these guys, see if they're still doing it. And uh, sure enough, I, I interviewed or I, I emailed you guys, and uh, we've been working together ever since. And it's I'm excited like for all the things that we have in store for next year. And I think we did a lot this year, so I would say I'm thankful for uh, for this company and finding finding you guys. Indeed, um, yeah, I, I think uh, you came in at a pretty cool time as well because. <laughs> what a what a cliffhanger! Um, Ricky Alphonse will be back with us momentarily. I'm just gonna hop right back in like it never happened. So, uh, yeah. So, um, you know, at this time last year, um, <clears throat> you know, it was a, a little bit of a struggle. You know, we're trying to find our footing. Um, we were trying to uh, figure out the next steps to take. Um, we were a little. Uh, you know, a little lagging in a few areas, but, uh, you know, thankful, um, that we were able to be where we are now. So, um, you definitely came in at a really cool time because you might've been sharing some of the frustrations that we had at this time last year. So, but no, we're thankful for you and thankful for everything you've been able to do and, and come in and help with. And you've been amazing. And, uh, you know, uh, you know, there's very few people, you, you know, you can ask them for anything and they, they have your back. And I feel like you're one of those people. So, um, you know, truly appreciate that and, uh, you know, um, look forward to, to what's, uh, what's to come. Uh, it's going to be exciting. Definitely. So anything else you're thankful for? Anything you could think of besides the Cowboys and Vikings or, um, uh, I have the Cowboys, uh, I guess my girlfriend, she's pretty cool. 
I'm thankful for her. <laughs> <laughs> does she does she listen to this podcast? Because she might not think that's too uh, uh, ringing of an endorsement. So, um, it's cool, I, I, I guess. Yeah, we we started dating back in January, and uh, it's been really fun getting to know her. She's a really great person, and I feel very lucky that she's in my life. So, I would definitely say her too. That's, that sounds better if she's if she happens to be listening. If she, if she does, uh, tell her to skip to the uh, to the you know I don't have the time because my um, my connection cut out. But whatever time uh, you know somebody. I don't know if I should answer the question or wait for him. There he is. I'm back again. You know it's the can't. It's just, Internet can't keep me down, man. Spectrum can't keep me down. I'm gonna keep. We don't stop here over here. Um, but Sean, um, I left off asking, what are you thankful for? Yeah, we we wanted to wait for you. Um, no, I'm I'm thankful. Uh, for a lot of things. Most specifically, I would say, you know, just uh, like the loyal people in my life, the people that you know, kind of stick by me. And this company and and Ricky and Justin and Raul are are a part of that group. You know, people that just support me in any way they can. And same thing with my family, too, family, friends, um, you know, and and uh, all my college buddies, you know, every everyone who, who's been around me and just, you know, continues to support me on, on this journey. Um, and I'm also thankful for, you know, having a healthy year, you know, no yes. major health concerns or anything like that. So, yeah, I mean, I'm, I'm in a very good place right now, just, you know. Um, I'm, I'm really happy with where our company's going and where we are right now. And, um, yeah, I'm just looking forward to, you know, next year I'm, I'm, uh, and I'm just excited that, you know, eventually, you know, everyone who's kind of stuck by me can see where I end up taking this and where I end up taking, you know, my life and my journey and everything like that. For sure. Um, Appreciate that. Surprised you didn't mention the Dolphins and seventy three record, top of the top of the uh, AFC East. Um, good I on you. You know, um, can't mention the Dolphins. Well, you kind of did mention the Cowboys to start off with. The, you started laughing. I knew that was about the Cowboys. So, well, in a way, you did mention the Cowboys. Bye. Um, <laughs> Ricky, what about you? What are you thankful for? Me, um, obviously, you guys. Um, you know, I, I think I'll share this on, a, you know, one of my other podcasts, uh, pers- the personal podcast. But, you know, it's just it's hard to find good people. Um, I've gone through, like, you know, different people that kind of came into this thing. And <laughs> I'm, I'm thankful for uh, I'd be thankful for some con- consistent Internet. That's what I would be thankful for. But, um, <laughs> you know, I don't know what <laughs> what's going on, but, uh, you know. I, I would like another carrier in my my area. That's what that's what I would really be thankful for, because um, you know, this wouldn't be happening. Uh, but anyhow, yeah, uh, a lot of people come in, they make promises, they you know never follow through, but you guys always have, and um, that includes Raúl, you and um, Adrian of Gore Media. Um, I just feel you know confident and happy that we have a, a really solid team. So I'm really thankful for everybody. I mean, every day I feel like we're getting a new piece. Um, I feel like we're building a, you know, we're becoming an unstoppable force. Um, I thought I'd cut out again for a second, but um, I'm still here. Thank God. Um, No, I think, Sean, you touched on as well health. I'm thankful for my health. I'm really thankful for my family. Um, Thankful for the time I get to spend with my family. Um, Thankful for my friends, you know, my inner circle, um, you know, shrinks every year, but you know, you kind of weed out the people that don't belong in that inner circle, but I'm, I'm really thankful for the people that are in my inner circle. And, um, you know, just thankful that I get to spend time with you guys also, because, you know, I could be working with people that were good at what they did and, and did help out, but I didn't like them, you know what I mean? And um, I think we have fun while we do everything. And um, hopefully that comes across to the audience and also, you know, uh, customers, our community, everybody that, we're a bunch of fun loving people and um we're building a really cool company an amazing product um and um yeah i i really hope that uh you know in the future you know 
we have a lot of cool things in store in the future. And I think we're um, really in a, in a pivotal, exciting time. But um, I hope that uh, everybody that kind of comes along with us gets to really see who we are and, you know, see the, you know, the love that we have for, uh, you know, what we're doing. Um, I hope they feel that through what we produce next year and what they are able to, to see, do and um, feel from, uh, you know, using our product and looking at our app and so forth. So all in all, just thankful, man. Thankful, just thankful for the growth that we're experiencing. And it's, it's uh, really, it's amazing. Um, but with that being said, I'm going to pass it to the last member of our podcast today. Raul, what, is, what are you thankful for this year? Well, um, I'd say, you know, first and foremost, um, I'm, I'm really thankful for, for my family and, and like, like Sean said, those people that are, that are close to me, those people that are connected to me, whether they be through work, through the projects that I'm doing or just at home, right? Um, I'm really thankful for the people in my life. That's probably the first thing. Um, the, the second thing is, is I'm, I'm really grateful for a lot of what we've been doing with this project. Um, we've been able to really branch out in the past year um, in terms of content, in terms of marketing, in terms of showing who we really are as, as Extropian, right? With the rebrand, with everything. Um, so I'm, I'm really grateful for all of those little changes um, because they've, they've been for the better. And they've, like, like Ricky said, the, the, the point is to gear ourselves up for uh, like this amazing product, this amazing thing. Um, and I also want to give a special shout out to Adrian. So Adrian is my, my business partner. He's, uh, he is not a silent business partner. He's far from it. Um, <laughs> he, uh, is, uh, actually, uh, more on the business and managerial side of things. So Ricky, Sean, and Justin have had the pleasure of meeting him and he'll definitely pop in on a podcast episode one of these days. Um, but I'm, I'm grateful for him because without him, I wouldn't have met Ricky and thus I wouldn't have met Justin and Sean. Um, I'm grateful for him because he's pushing me as a creative, as a, as a businessman, you know? Uh, so I'm, I think I'm really grateful for those three things. Awesome. So, um, unless anybody, anything else popped up on anybody else's help, uh, mind as far as what they're thankful for, um. I think what I was trying to say is, is loyalty. Um, everybody's loyalty means loyalty means the world to me, and I'm very thankful for that. Um, you know, I feel like we have a loyal group of people, and and I don't know, it's just really incredible. Um, again, thank just I know I'm reiterating what I said earlier, but really thankful for all of that. Um, with that being said, unless anybody else had anything else to add that they're thankful for this year, any takers? No, no, no. Um, Let's talk about some other fun stuff uh, surrounding Thanksgiving. Um, favorite foods. Uh, I'll go in and start off with Raul since you talked last. What, uh, what's your favorite uh, things to eat? What are you looking forward to uh, eating this Thursday? And what do you, you know, kind of, I always kind of look at Thanksgiving like, you know, there's certain things that I want to see on that table on, on uh, Thursday, on Thanksgiving Day. What are those things for you? Well, I, I kind of want to tell a brief little story about, about Thanksgiving in my family. And it is connected yeah. because the answer is it, it's the, some of the food that I crave isn't the pilgrim Thanksgiving food sometimes. And that's because originally in my family, because we're all Mexican, my dad, the Mexican American of the group, was actually the one who brought Thanksgiving tradition down to southern Mexico. Um, at first, his friends and, and family would look at him weird because he'd be like, why are you throwing a huge, weird, old school dinner on a weird Thursday in November, you know? And eventually he basically started teaching them with little, with little compromises. Like the first few Thanksgivings he threw were on Saturdays and they had nothing to do with pilgrim style food. They were like taco <laughs> parties, you know, they were just traditional, you know, normal parties. Um, and then he started slowly introducing the mashed potatoes and the sweet potatoes and, you know, and then he'd cook a turkey and they were like, why is there a turkey in the middle of the table? And he basically taught an entire community what Thanksgiving is and how to be grateful for it about 20 years before it naturally migrated down there as, as a thing people know about. Um, and, and because of that, there's some really cool foods that I end up liking, whether it just be like, um, you know, roast pork, but 
Mexican style, um, or the the Thanksgiving staples. Um, my mom, for example, she learned how to make these sweet potato uh, halves. She would she'd bake the sweet potato, cut it in half, and then she'd put dessert toppings on top. Next level, next level. So, um, in terms of American stuff, I'd say sweet potatoes, um, and then maybe roast pork for the other. Nice, nice. I um, I'm not a big fan of sweet. Well, sweet potato is a like, you know, like chopped up and like kind of made into like almost like a diced potatoes. I'll eat that, but um, that's pretty impressive. The ta- I'm down for tacos. I'll eat tacos. I don't care any time of year. If I had that for Thanksgiving, I'd be down. Um, so Justin, how about yourself? What do you What are you looking forward to? So for me and my family, like I'm half Korean and my, the Korean side of my family lives in Florida. And so normally they come over uh, to our house on Thanksgiving and it's like a combination of like Korean food and then like the normal Thanksgiving stuff. So we'll have like turkey and mashed potatoes and stuff, but then we'll have like Korean ribs and like rice and like kimchi and stuff like that. It's, (laughs) It's a weird combination, but it actually is, it's really good. And that's, that's. I, I love the combination of it on Thanksgiving. It just it makes me happy. But I think my favorite things that I look forward to every year are like the my my cousins make these really good like uh, Korean ribs that they make in a slow cooker that are so good. And mm-hmm. then uh, I like the I always like the cranberry sauce like specifically for my can, not like the liquid cranberry sauce, but like the Jello ones. That's like my favorite. Yeah. So those, uh, probably those two I most look forward to. <clears throat> Um, all right, well, shoot, I mean, it sounds like everybody pretty much has a non-traditional, uh, you know, feast on, on Thanksgiving, so, Sean, uh, how about yourself, what is, I, I feel like Sean may have more of the traditional, um, Thanksgiving, what about, <laughs> what, what do you typically have, and what's your, your favorite, Sean? Yeah, being the regular Caucasian American, um, <laughs> we, we have, Pretty traditional Thanksgiving. Um, <laughs> I will say my favorite thing to eat on Thanksgiving. I I love turkey. Turkey's definitely one of my favorites. Um, I look forward to it every year. Um, that's a big thing. But even more than that, recently I got to give a shout out to my uncle Kurt. He's topped it because he has this thing that he makes called rice potatoes, and it's it has nothing to do with rice. It's basically you put a potato like you put the potatoes through like a ricer like you grate the like kind of like grated potatoes almost um so it just gives it like a different texture where it's not like mashed up but it's like also not like you know just big clumps of potatoes and then he puts in butter and all this other unhealthy stuff and cooks it and bakes it and it is it's like mashed potatoes but just on like yumminess steroids and it is by far the best thing like he gave he gave my mom the recipe one time i'm convinced that he left some stuff out because it wasn't the same and yeah i he only makes it for thanksgiving so every year i'm like i make sure i don't eat anything pretty much all day so i can eat as much of that as possible i they always split up the leftovers and stuff but i'm like no i gotta eat as much of it as i can now that way other people can't have any later um so yeah, that that's my top two things that uh, I'm looking forward to. And then yeah, we my family gets together with you know my cousins on my dad's side uh, pretty much every year, and um, most of us are all still like local in the area. So um, it's a great time, and you know we got a good group of us. Uh, so yeah, that's what I'm gonna be doing for Thanksgiving. What about you, Ricky? Finish us off. Well, um, I mean, you had it, the potato dish isn't like traditional, traditional. So, you know, I think it's not just about like, you know, uh, ethnic foods. I would say it's also like just different things because I feel like everybody does the same things. The green beans, the, you know, the potatoes, the turkey, you know what I mean? If you if you can get, get outside of that, I think it's a good thing because um, I'm, I'm like super non-traditional. I don't like turkey for one um i don't eat it uh as everybody pretty much everybody on this call probably knows i'm a very picky eater so um the what i do love is this is vegetarian meat and sean your sister's a, a big vegetarian so or she's a what is your sister uh like a pescatarian I guess pescatarian that's right fish but 
Yeah, so um, there's a um, meat. It's called Dinner Roast. It's by, uh, I forget the name of the company, but it's a veggie meat, and I absolutely love it. We, we eat it every year. Um, it's one of my favorites. Um, my sister makes a, this hash brown casserole that I absolutely love. I'm a big fan of onions, so and that thing is just diced up with onions and cheese. It's like perfect. Um, I also, those are two of the ones, macaroni, my mom's macaroni. I love that. Um, I was listening to, uh, what was it? Sunday night football, um, cast, uh, I guess it was halftime and, um, Sean Garrett was saying that he didn't think macaroni was a traditional, um, Thanksgiving meal. Well, it is in my house. Um, also too, it's like, we're very, you know, my parents are from the islands, you know, Grenada and St. Lucia. So. It's like heavy um, roti, curry goat, curry beef, rice and peas. Um, Raul knows what I'm talking about. I see him shaking his head. Um, yeah, if, if you guys have never had those things, um, you know, I don't know if you guys have or not, but uh, it's worth a try. Really, really good food. Um, I don't eat the goat personally. Um, the beef I'll eat, but... Um, but me, myself, one thing I love about Thanksgiving that I've been doing the past couple of years is I've been trying to make different dishes, like from scratch, like just trying to challenge myself a little bit. Um, so I'll make a dessert and I'll make a, um, a dish from scratch, um, obviously with a recipe. So this year I'm making a, um, what am I making? I'm making the strawberry cheesecake filled sugar cookies. And then I am making... Um, French onion soups with uh, beef in them. So Damn. I, I got to buy the little dishes to make it. But yeah, I always try and challenge myself to make something new. And it's it's turned out pretty good, except for uh, my pumpkin pie one year. Um, the pie didn't stick to the crust. So it was just, it was a mess. One did, one didn't. And uh, one I added a little bit too much salt. And I thought I had, uh, you know, I thought I didn't put the salt in, and actually I did put the salt in there, so it was like you ate it and you pretty much want to spat it right back out. Um, other than that, I've been successful with my dishes, you know, so um, that was the one the one uh, screw up, you know what I mean? But yeah, that's that's to me the most exciting part about uh, Thanksgiving dinner is trying to make these different dishes, and I try and vary it up every year. At Christmas, I'll make something different as well, so... Chef yeah, Rick. I always try to cook too. Like I always try to think of like a new dessert to cook. Like at the last couple of years, uh, last year I did like an apple strudel and it turned out pretty good. And the year before that, I did nice. like, a, uh, like a cinnamon apple pie that was really good. Like a cinnamon roll uh, crust that was really good. Mm. This was like last year, my dad tried to. He, it was his first time baking, and he tried to bake it like a some kind of pie, and the d- direction said <laughs> to add the direction said to add like two like teaspoons of vanilla and he just put the entire bottle in the, in the <laughs> oh man i remember he showed it to us like after it was baking and we were like, <laughs> he was like why does this taste so weird and we we're like how much how much vanilla did you put in and he, he just was like here's the bottle and we were <laughs> <laughs> Oh my god! Uh, that was the last time he baked for Thanksgiving, or has he tried it again after that? He wants to do, he wants to do it this year. He wants redemption. He wants to try again. So. Just, just watch him. Watch, watch him. Uh, you know, yeah. Be, be like the stew chef and watch everything he's doing. I got yeah, every step of the way. I have to watch, but I thought that was hilarious. We, yeah, we didn't eat it, by the way. So. That's funny. He, that's funny when he said he wants redemption. <laughs> oh man. I think I had a funny story too with us like the one year. Um, and I guess we all probably have some funny stories to share. Maybe we can kind of, uh, go around and do that. But, um, I remember one year the Turkey caught on fire. Um, the Turkey caught on fire and I don't know what happened, but, uh, I was a little kid and I just remember the, uh, the house was, you know, smoking and we opened up the, you know, the oven and the Turkey's just like gone. I'm like, what the hell happened to the Turkey? You know what I mean? And, that year we had no turkey, so um, that's probably why my mom buys like two turkeys every year, just in case that happens. I don't know, like my mom, for yeah. some reason, always gets like two turkeys. Yeah. So a backup turkey in case the the first turkey um, explodes again. Um, any any funny stories from you guys, uh, Sean? I remember 
last year, um, I was actually down with my mom's side of the family for Thanksgiving. And we were out um, in the backyard and stuff, and they had a pool back there because it's Miami, Florida, and hot and stuff. And one of my cousins was walking, was trying to, like, walk around everybody, and he was right next to the pool, and he didn't leave enough space, and he was about to fall into the pool. So he grabbed my other cousin's boyfriend and, like, used him to help, like, save him from going into the pool. Well, my cousin's <laughs> boyfriend didn't know that he was being used for that. So he, like, he successfully saved himself from going in the pool, but instead just threw my cousin's boyfriend in the pool. <laughs> and my uh... cousin's boyfriend just, like, like was like what the heck just happened and he was like look i could have held on to you but i would have also went in the pool with you so i just thought i'd sacrifice you instead that was a i hope his phone i hope his phone wasn't in the pocket and if it was i hope it was like waterproof at least it was but i think he it was good it, it we put it in some rice and it was fine so jeez <laughs> what about you Raul? i saw you raising your hand you have a story yeah, yeah. Uh, my my family used to throw these like kind of like twenty twenty five person Thanksgivings uh, in Florida once we moved here, and we'd invite people from South Florida like family friends and stuff. And one time for the recession, like the the oh eight oh nine recession, we threw a prank on on this family. Um, obviously times were really tough for a lot of middle class families in in oh eight oh nine. And it was it was pretty tough for us too, but we were we were still kind of having fun with it. And what we did was normally instead of the twenty pound turkey that my mom normally makes, we made a pound and a half Cornish game hen. And we baked it. We also made the normal giant twenty pound turkey, but we we made a Turkish or, or a Cornish game hen, and dressed it up in a giant platter with like as if it was going to be our Thanksgiving turkey for the night. And my dad pulled it out of the kitchen and he brought it over and he was like, guys, you know, times have been tough this year. But, you know, and he started going on this little rant about how, you know, we do what we can with what we have and blah, blah, blah. The look on their faces was perfection. <laughs> and then my mom, you know, immediately after him took out a, a turkey bigger than her <laughs> and then we were able to actually have the dinner but it was it was just a funny little moment that we were able because to break the ice because you know the recession was a thing for sure yeah I, I think the funniest thing about thanksgiving too and, and you guys probably uh have the same things with your family and friends that come around is there's always there's always the person for each category the person you don't want to have the drinks around the person that um, brings Tupperware and doesn't bring anything to eat. The person that goes for seconds before somebody, you know, gets their first or, you know, the person that uh, messes, you know, you know, they're going to mess up the table and they're, you know, just uh, you don't want to eat around them because they're just sloppy, a sloppy eater. I mean, there's always that person in, uh, in every family. So I, I think that's the one of the funniest things about Thanksgiving is like before people come in, you know where you kind of want to seat them, you know who you don't want to be around, you know, who you want to be around. And, and uh, there's always that person in every category that you just kind of like, you already automatically know what they're going to do when they come into Thanksgiving. Um, you guys have that? Okay. Yeah. So. Oh, yeah. I basically, just make sure my dad doesn't bake anything at this point. <laughs> Damn. Uh, is your, you know, I already asked you if your girlfriend listens to this podcast. Um, I was wondering if your dad uh, listens as well. Uh, probably not this episode, but he does. <laughs> you're gonna, you're gonna avoid, uh, avoid him listening to this one, huh? Yeah, yeah, probably. <laughs> so yeah, anybody, um, anybody else want to say anything about, uh, about Thanksgiving? Any other thoughts? Any other? I think we pretty much covered everything. It's... Hmm? You good? Oh, I said about things. Well, they are playing on Thanksgiving. Um, I, I guess I want to ask too traditions since Justin brought up. Uh, you know what? What do you? What are some of the traditions you guys engage in? Like for me, it's you know we have a lot of people over. Um, I, I do the baking, like I said, and then you know I watch a lot of football. I watch every game as much as I can and try to put on a movie or something for the family. But um, if we keep it pretty low key, you guys have anything special you do? 
Um, it's it's not necessarily too special, but something that might be a little different than a lot of Thanksgivings is 99 times out of 100, my, my Thanksgiving dinner happens incredibly late. Um, you know, Latin Americans, <laughs> uh, people from Spain, and people from the countries that Spain, yeah. you know, uh, made, basically. Uh, we all eat pretty late. So, like, dinner will be at, like, 9 or 10 p.m., um, when a lot of my American friends, they're, they're, they're basically eating lunch. They're eating Thanksgiving lunch, you know, uh-huh. really what it is or supper. Um, so it, sometimes it used to be like, uh, you know, one of those moments where it was a, a test in patience, at, uh, you know, where it, Oh yeah. You know, the good stuff was worth waiting for. Uh, I imagine you switch that around on Christmas though. Probably you, you celebrate Christmas night and feast on Christmas night. Is that, do you do that? Yeah, we do yeah. the same thing for Christmas where we eat pretty late to the point where uh, sometimes, like, at midnight, we're still, like, wrapping up dessert and, like, we're telling each other Merry Christmas as the meal is still kind of happening for uh, for Christmas Eve. Oh, cool. Anybody else, any, any weird traditions or anything? Anything special you do? Or... No, my family's pretty, like, standard. We just, everyone just comes over. We just eat and watch the Cowboys play. Last year wasn't that fun, but I think this will be better. Mm. Sean, how about yourself? Anything? No, it's just get together with uh, cousins and aunts and uncles and everything. And we usually have the games on and just talking. And then at the end of the night, we go around and say what everyone's thankful for. That's pretty much it. Cool, cool. So, yeah, I'm hoping nobody... Uh... I know that I happen to mention in those categories is listening to this podcast, much like Justin's uh, dad and girlfriend. But um, I guess that, you know, we're going to wrap up the uh, the Thanksgiving episode of the Built Different podcast. And um, with that, um, you know, I'd like to thank Sean again. I'd like to thank Justin. I'd like to thank Raul and uh, his other half, uh, Adrian, um, for, you know, another amazing episode. And, you know, again, thank you for all of you guys and, um, you know, really thankful for uh, where we're heading and all the work you guys do and how that's contributed to, to where we're heading um, in 2023. So with that being said, I'd um, like to I'd, close it out. And, yeah, I'd, uh, I'd like Sean. to thank, yeah, yeah. Um, I'd like to thank our followers as well. You know, anyone who listens yeah. to this podcast, anyone who follows us on socials, um, you know, we are trying to, we're, we're still learning, you know, we're not, uh experts said it yet but we're trying to create good content content that you guys will enjoy and um ways for you you guys to see us as more than just you know like company speak you know we want you guys to get to know us um on you know kind of more of a personal level which is kind of what this whole podcast is about um and yeah we just hope that you know you guys enjoy the content that we're putting out there and that you guys have a wonderful thanksgiving and you know healthy happy um, everything like that. And also safe as well. I would add to healthy and healthy and happy. Um, yeah, and we, we want to, you know, just be authentic, uh, with our content. We felt like, you know, episodes like this and all of our previous episodes are that. So, um, you know, thank you, Sean. Yeah. I wanted to thank the followers as well. And, um, you know, if you're listening, you know, tell somebody else about it. Cause we're trying to build this, this community, build this following and, uh, you know, have fun while we're doing it. So we, you know, appreciate you uh, listening to the podcast and uh, we look forward to uh, to perfecting this and, and uh, you know, putting out even greater content in the future. And uh, thank you, you know, thank you for joining Extropia family. And uh, with that being said, have a happy Thanksgiving. Everybody be safe. Yeah.